Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do a bit of a side by side comparison review for this one. Um, it's a nice easy one this one. So the start of June, well, very recently, um, in the last couple of weeks, Tesco have had some new beers out um, and Brewdog released Almost Famous. Um, there was a rumour going around that it was the same beer as the Cloudwater Brewdog Newland IPA that was released about two years ago and because Cloudwater had pulled out of that, that deal in, in March um, Brewdog have done a two fingers up to Cloudwater and basically ripped it off and done Almost Famous Well, I've got myself one of these this is the uh, Brewdog and Cloudwater New England IPA um, I say good side by side comparison Cloudwater will be on my left um, in the Cloudwater glass Brewdog will go in the Brewdog glass just so you know a uh, tear of the tape um, this says it is 6.8% ABV it says so there the New England Cloudwater and Cloudwater New England IPA again 6.8 it says so there best before on this one is the 22nd of October yep 20 23 it says so on there somewhere I am um, and this one is the 22nd of October oh no, 20, 17th of May 23 it says that on the bottom so this has got I just go over a year on it or just under a year on it this has got a couple of months on it I know I tell a lie I tell a lie the best before on this one is the 15th of August 22 so this is nearly at the end of its of its best before uh, there must just be a batch code I'm just looking at I do apologize uh, new for old it says on the bottom 15th of August 22 it says that on the side um, I remember when this first came out, I absolutely adored this. I thought it was fantastic. I um, I had this. This is okay. I thought this was great. In fact, I thought it was very good compared to some of the brew dog stuff that they've been releasing lately. Anyway, let's pop a top to what we've got. Let's go with the almost famous first. That makes me smile every time I see that fiercely independent forever craft. Whatever. Different story if I can get involved with these, I'll tell you. There we go. So, beer in a glass, what have we got? Two finger, densely compact, bright white head. Beer itself, beautiful looking. I'm hazy orange. Looks really good. Looks like a really good quality New England IPA. What you'd expect, to be fair, from someone like Brewdog. I'm, let's crack this open. Now, this one, I believe, when this first came out, this was brewed in Ellen. It was um, it was Cloudwater's recipe, but it was brewed brewed by Brewdog, I think, or something like that. Okay, so beer in a glass again. What have we got? Yeah, two finger, two finger head, and. Um, is slightly lighter. Let's put it, put it up so you can have a look. Yeah, slightly lighter. Um, this is a light, light orangey yellow. Um, what I'm saying that when the sun gets into them, they're not much different from where I'm sitting. They look very similar. I would say it's probably a little bit lighter. Anyway, let's go for the nose. Let's go for the nose on this one. Fruity, juicy, a little bit of pine in there. Smells good. Let's go for the almost famous. Cheers. Again, fruity, juicy, pineapples, grapefruit. Same with the, the New England IPA. Bit of tropical fruit. Piney. The only difference at the moment is one's head's gone. Let's go to the body and carb on the New England IPA. Like 
carbonation, light bodied. Let's go for the almost famous. Cheers. The almost famous has got a bit more, a bit more of a velvety, smooth body to it. Um, light carbonation, soft carbonation. So the mouthfeel is a little bit different than the New England. Okay, let's go for the big taste on the almost famous. Cheers. Fruity, grapefruit, juicy, light tropical fruit, citrus definitely in there. Citrus fruit, oranges, orange peel, zest, grapefruit peel, into a pine, resiny finish, a little base of sweetness in there, maybe even a little, like say, a little bit of pineapple, possibly. Very good. We have a big taste on the old uh, New England IPI. Very similar. Citrus fruit, grapefruit peel, rind, zest, a little bit of pine. The almost famous is probably a little bit fresher. But this has probably got maybe six weeks till it's past its best, whereas this has got a month, nine months, ten months, <clears throat> which is best now. And I'll the same beer. More importantly, for me, yes, they're the same beer, pretty much, pretty much identical. I've just got there on both of them, a little grassy feel to it. Um, but for me, I would say that, that these are pretty much the same. And I'd still pick the Cloud Water using the IPA. It's just easier drinking. That light, the lighter body makes it very crushable. Nothing you're going to be able to find it because it's not going to be on, on sale. I just happened to stumble across it in Tesco at an end of range shelf. Um, it was £2.25, whereas this was three quid. That was three quid. But for me, yeah, these are both the same. Fair play. Yeah, there you go. So, Brewdog's Almost Famous and Brewdog and Cloud Cloudwater's New England IPA. Both 6.8%, both in 440 ml cans. Basically, this is this. I um, do I like them? You know what? I do I like both of them. I prefer this. Um, would I recommend these to friends? Yes. Would I buy them again? <sighs> Probably. Probably buy this again. So, if you've had either of these beers, probably going to be this one more so than this one. Although saying that, it's been out for two years. Let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. We'll put a link. To both websites. This is on the Brewdog website at the time recording this video. This is not. This is not on the Cloudwater website either. Um, if you like the video, if you like it, don't subscribe down there, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay alert, stay safe. Hey, Neil.